All right. So the song is called Alone by John Carroll. Is that how you say that? John Carroll. So I'm going to map out the chords for you. Oops. We need to change the key so it will show up properly. That's how it went. Uh, I gotta listen again. I might, I might have the wrong inversions. Let me back that up just so I'm getting this right. I wake up every morning and I'm alone. The empty. Yeah. Okay. I just want to make sure I was getting the right. The interval or the sorry the right um right inversions yeah huh. many videos today so there's the first chord right there for the um is there an intro i can't remember yeah just kind of goes into it so the first chord is the d it's all tight together um and kind of low because middle c is this one right here so that's where we are relative to everything else on the piano okay, so, got that one. so then we're to the this one that's the a slash c sharp just tell me when you're ready for the next one and the b minor just give me a thumbs up when you're ready for the next chord i don't want to move too fast So that repeats that section there because the repeat dots the way I wrote it in. So then the next chord is an, just a regular A major. A. And then the B minor that we already did and the G we already did. So the... You don't need to write those in again. And then the next chord we need is this one right here, the D slash F sharp. So it's a, a D in first inversion, but we're playing an F sharp in the left hand bass note as well. Wait, sorry, so it goes A and then B and then G? Yes, and we'd already written those down, so that's why I didn't write them down, or I didn't uh, notate them again, because we're going to play them in the same place. So Because that, that's how we do this. Sometimes the, the chords get reused in the song, and if it's exactly the same one, same inversion, I don't bother showing you again. I just kind of talk through it quickly. So yeah, the A, I think I did show you, the, but the B minor and the G were the same as in the first section. So yeah, I got that. You got those? Okay, so now I've moved on to this part of the song. We're doing the D slash F, and that's what's down here right now. I'm just holding it with my foot pedal. Okay. So F sharp in the left hand and then F sharp A D in the right. Okay, got that. Okay, and then just a regular A that you already did. It's the same A as before, okay? And then the chorus, same chords. Okay, this time, um, when we do the D, like the, the chords for this were the same. Actually, I think I should do that G. Yeah, the, the B minor is the same in the chorus as, as the last one, but then we're going to use this G where the G is on top. I think, it, I think it sounds better. I think it sounds closer to the original. And everything needs to sound brighter and happier because now we're in the chorus. So we're, we're going to play notes that are slightly higher. Okay, got that. G there. And then, then a D with the F sharp as the top note. Just give me a thumbs up when you're ready for the next one. We already knew that one. It's the same. And then the B minor is the same. So it's just a matter of fitting those together. And then again, there's lots of repeat dots in this song. And the same thing happens in the chords. We repeat that. And then we end on a B minor. 
And then we go back to a verse, and the verse chords are exactly the same, so I can skip down. Uh, the chorus looks like it's identical, but then the bridge is where we do something different. So we got... Which are chords we've already done before. And then the A. So in the, in the bridge, I think we should do the G down here instead of here. I want the G here. There's a reason why. And I think we already wrote that G before. I think you wrote that in the very beginning of the song. So G, A, D, F sharp, major 7. Minor 7. This is okay. A small M. And then B, which you already did. A, you already did. G there. And then the G minor 6 is the, is the pretty chord. It's this one. Okay. Write that one down. Okay. okay, and then everything else is chords you've already played. It's just a matter of fitting them together because we do a chorus again. It stays the same, but then we end on a B minor, just kind of holds, and it just fades out, and then the song ends. Okay? Okay. Let's do a, you want to play through? With the I'll, see if I can, I'll see if I can, yeah, get it. Okay, well, do you want me to play through it, or do you think you got it if I let you do it at home? It doesn't matter to me. Um, maybe I can try playing through it and just see see how I do and then okay this inside me it fills my home because I thought that I would find your love by now yeah. so we're to that part I thought yeah. starts with B minor. I just want to fall in love so bad is that such a problem but no one loves me back and my friends say I'm better without them so I dive in head first even though I know the outcome because no one loves me back so I guess Okay, now similar to what happened in a, pre in a previous video that I did tonight, I don't know if you're watching, but it was mostly block chords to that point of the song. We're just playing it and holding it for like two counts, maybe four counts, whatever. When we get to verse two, then you notice there was a little guitar part. All we're going to do uh, to simulate that on the piano is we're going to go like this. Um, That might, that might not be the progression, but what I'm doing is okay. I'm, whatever whatever the, the chord is, I'm hitting the low note first and hitting the upper notes on the off beats. One and two and one and two and one and two and one. Now that sounds choppy because I don't have sustain pedal, but watch what happens when I add the sustain. Now it sounds closer to the recording. Because I added that. Okay. So it's low, high, low, high, low, high in, in this song. Other songs that I did today, we did we did high first. It just depends on the song. The style of this one, they went low, high, low, high, as far as I can tell. So okay. anyway, that's pretty much it. I think you were I, I heard a little bit of your playing. I think you were following just fine. So Little through that. I'm just trying to use the recording sparingly because sometimes YouTube gives me a, a copyright notice when I use too much of the recording. So you'll need to take these and write them in to the lyrics. I think I started for you. Oh, I did quite a bit of it. Forgot how generous I, I gave you lots of this. <laughs> okay. I did write this one in for a reason though. Right here, when we got to the G minor sixth in the bridge. I always give myself a little bit of a clue in brackets near the chord symbols to tell me what's happening. And so it says held note, bass and drums stop. So everything just kind of goes, everything just kind of stops, even like all the rhythmic stuff happening in the other, like, 
like I said, bass drums, everything just stops right there. Because that's the only time they use that chord as well. So it's very dramatic because everything stops. Okay. And so I just gave myself a little note. And so when you're writing out these charts for yourself, go ahead and write clues in there to remind yourself of what's supposed to happen. If there's supposed to be a stop, a break, suddenly louder, like anything, and just write it in because this isn't sheet music. And so we can write, you know, very, um, very clear instructions to ourselves how to play this. Okay. And yeah. is this going to be on the, on the Kajabi? Is this going to be on the website? It will. What you just saw, I'm going to take an excerpt from this make it into a video that's just this part by itself, throw it in there as a lesson. That's how I'm doing it tonight. But I think it's a more effective lesson because we had you around and you can kind of ask questions and, and uh, make the lesson better just because we get input from a student. Because I might not know what's going through your mind when I create the video. So that's why I wanted you involved in the process. So do you have any questions about anything we're doing on any of this? Um, I, don't, I don't think so. Okay. Um... I just want to draw your attention to one little thing. The chord progression in the second verse was also slightly different. It wasn't just the, we actually had a different harmony. In the first verse, we had an A slash C. But in the second verse, in that same spot in the progression, we had the F sharp minor seven. I listened really closely to the song to make sure I wasn't hearing it wrong. And I'm pretty sure that's how they did it. It was, it was very minimal, very quiet in the first verse. But then in the second verse, it did that instead. And so everything else is exactly the same. If you look at this verse right here, and this verse right here, everything's the same except for right here. That's the only change. Uh, and so it is, it is correct. It's not a misprint. I'm pretty sure I listened to it over and over again to get it. So I just wrote, wrote a little note below to tell me that, hey, that's why that is that way. So when you look okay. at you know, transcribing into all the other verses, you don't know, need to make sure you write the right chords in there. Okay. Okay. I, I'm excited to see what you can do with this in a week. So, <laughs> okay. So I'll stop the share.